Over the years, even the simplest components of automotive technology have undergone big changes. Take, for example, the brake pedal. What used to be a switch has evolved into a sensor, making it one of the most important safety systems in modern vehicles. Let's talk about the evolution and importance of brake pedal sensors. Brake pedal sensors used to be called brake pedal switches because, well, that's what it was. A switch or pressure sensor would complete the circuit to turn on the brake lights or a relay. However, in the late 90s, things started to change as ABS and stability control became more common. Engineers began to realize they needed more information about the brake system, like what the driver was doing with the brake pedal. The binary switch couldn't distinguish between a panic stop and a normal braking situation, which became important for modern safety systems. If you take a look under the dash of most vehicles, you'll see different styles of switches and sensors. While you might still see traditional switches, you'll also find sensors that measure how far the brake pedal is pressed and how quickly, which is critical for the anti-lock braking system, ABS, stability control, and even some advanced driver assistance systems, or ADOS. The sensitivity of these pedal sensors also plays an important role in features like stop and start systems. For hybrids and electric vehicles, this information is essential for managing regenerative braking effectively. Some manufacturers, like Ford, use a sensor to measure the vacuum at the booster to gather similar information. But regardless of the system, brake pedal data is just one piece of the larger puzzle. The ABS hydraulic control unit's pressure sensors, along with wheel speed, lateral acceleration, and yaw sensors, all work together to paint a picture of the vehicle's braking behavior. ADOS Automatic Emergency Braking also needs input from the brake pedal position sensor. What if you're faced with common brake pedal sensor issues, like being unable to start the engine, shift out of park, the ABS instability control is disabled, or the brake lights don't illuminate when the pedal is pressed. Well, the great thing about late model brake pedal sensors is that there are a ton of codes and parameter IDs, or PIDs, to sift through. In the past, the only PID you could see on the scan tool indicated if the switch was on or off. Now, more PIDs exist for the voltages to and from the sensor. Make sure to follow the codes to correctly diagnose the issue. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.